Okay, so let's uh, teleport back to Portoa. And we may as well take it in for the night. Hang on over here, because now we can accomplish things out this way. Oh, hey, you're back. Yeah, let's turn that off. Actually, I think, um, we just reactivate that. It'll deactivate the teleport. Okay, so. You can have your fog lamp. <laughs> Nifty. That takes care of that. Alright, so, boat away. Yep. Boat ride. Can't do a thing at this point. Alright, so then. Hi, guy. Okay then. And we'll be finding your pendant soon enough. For now, our boat has disappeared, so... Head and... Use the shell flute. And this time we're... Making beep 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 noises. Thanks for that, game! I don't recall it doing that in the NES version. Oh well. Let's um, go ahead and uh, take a look at the ocean map, because I don't know where things are. Don't need any of those maps anymore. And evidently there isn't. Uh, hmm. Ah, there we go. There we have it. Let's see. Right on here. It is the island of Joel. Well, the island town of Joel. Okay, don't eat in at all. And maybe that mirrored shield was a total waste of money. I don't honestly know. We will find out soon. And there's the item shop. Do they have the regular stuff? No, they don't. No other shop. Uh, can we get to anything from here? Probably. There are very, very few things without point or purpose in this game. then. Off to the Island of Spirits, presumably. Yeah, let's see. Gonna need that. Also gonna need that. How do we actually get there? Hmm, let's see. No map for that. Now let's check the walkthrough. Everything we need in Joel for the time being. Let's just go ahead and, uh, shell flute. Take the dolphin all the way to the southwest corner. There we go. And let's see. Nope! <laughs> Hey, that is another thing which, you know, normally in the NES game was actually hidden, so you had to search for it, not just, oh, hey, there's a treasure chest in the middle of this uh, spot of water. Uh, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so then. Alright, so going into... 
that thing there, I believe. This FAQ is amazingly vague. Okay, so there's the set of whirlpools which we'll be sort of deactivating later. There's that. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to um go ahead and go chat with uh Oh, he's gone. Yeah, I kind of found your pendant there, I'm pretty sure, but, um, you know, oh well. Alright. And again, you can, uh, do a bit of grinding on these enemies if you wish. Let's see what they work. Yeah, that's actually really, really good. <laughs> so, since they don't move, and they only hurt you if you, you know, jam your massive box into theirs. Not really too dangerous to sit here and grind for a while. Okay, so now we're in this particular cave here. Which I'm pretty sure... Yep, that is exactly where we are. Uh, useless things, useless things. We want the iron necklace, probably. And we definitely want to get to the Island of Spirits. Which is... Way the heck over there, I see. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Let's continue on in that direction, then. Take the uh, most direct route there. Which would be to cross... yeah. Basically, this is a, sort of a tiny bit of a maze, just that um, there's only one correct path to the end, and about uh, three or four other dead ends. Also, apparently I forgot to uh, actually activate the uh, br blizzard bracelet. And the game thought I still had the ball of water on. Oh, that can't even damage me. And now I don't want to go up all that way. And just wander around. And again, we will probably need the, uh... Wind Sword, again. No, oh, that was the useless item. Although I guess the magic ring is still quite nice in that it does restore quite a lot of magic, so... only slightly useless. Now, let's see... Well, that's an iron necklace, so... Let's go find out just what the heck that does. Probably another useful item, but... Yeah, never know. So once again, we have some really horrible music. And, you know, when you consider that it was Nintendo that designed this port, it's just all the more cringe-worthy. Given all the fantastic tunes that they have uh, created in their day. Alright, so the Iron Necklace is, uh... Defense-boosting permanent item. Okay, so that is, in fact, very worthwhile to go grab. And, let's see. and again, we have a couple different ways to go here, but sort of mainly loop around so that uh, just kind of go to the same place. A little bit less of that, I should think. Oh. <laughs> Gotta wait it out for that. There we go. 
kind of nifty that it does actually drop you down to the floor below instead of just uh, damaging you and spitting you back out there again. Oh, right, you're an actual thing. Let's go ahead and try the telepathy spell. Nope, not even that will actually accomplish anything. Okay, can't go in the broken doors. Zombie zombie. Zombie zombie. And probably Sabera's castle. So let's go see. Looks like we have... Okay, so we can go left or right here. They will both lead to the vampire battle number two. Okay, so then, we can pick up the medical herb, broken statue. Broken statue is the only thing we actually want. So we can ignore those alternate pathways, I think. Okay, going to the right. Because, yeah, going to the left will just get us to uh, medical herb, past a bunch of other nonsense, so not really the uh, most necessary of items at this point. And again, recommended level is right around like 9 or 10 for facing this vampire bat. Oh, hey. Enough talk. Have at you. Pretty obvious that that's uh, where they got a little bit of inspiration from, shall we say. Wow. Just, wow. Okay, so that's a thing. Already done with that particular boss. And that's... Right, right over there. Good, definitely on the right track so far. And we could go to the right over there and find a Fruit of Power. Again, that helps restore a bit of uh, MP. Oops. Let's uh, not be hit by the uh, enemy moth dust. So now we head to here, and it is time for the fight with Sabera. Well, I say that, except... <laughs> yeah, if you do go in here... No. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so we can't even actually, um... Well... Okay, there we go. Hmm. Usual method of, you know, get up and, uh, beat the hell out of them may not work with this particular fight. And again... Nope, that'll require a little tiny bit more actual finesse and strategy. Yeah, okay, let's just go ahead and fresh. without being, you know, slaughtered every couple of seconds. Good enough. Don't need to actually change anything to, uh, <laughs> continue attacking. There we go. And with that, we get the broken statue. Which we will be, you know, fixing and making into a proper statue sometime soon. And with that, I do believe that's everything we need to do here. Get that, beat the bosses, got the statue. Now we just, um, waltz on out of here. Carefully. Actually, can we, in fact, um, teleport to Spirit Town? Yes, we can. 
Excellent. And hey, looky there. Still don't think we can enter houses. Maybe one of these houses will... No? No, maybe not. Yeah, so... Huh. So, this one we can enter. Hi there. My guess would be it's that otherwise empty shed that we found just a couple moments ago. So, let's, um... And hey, still have it activated. Cool. Over to Joel. May as well stop in here. How much did we just spend? I wasn't even looking. Oh, hey, even cheaper. Cool. Now then. Pretty positive that, uh... No? Oh, I had to actually hit the A button to equip them, and the door just kind of magically opens. Thank you, eyeglasses. You are apparently a garage door open button. And now we get to the lighthouse, and we can chat with him, finally. Oh, right, so uh, let's, um, actually give him his pendant, then. So then, go ahead and pretty sure we just activate the glowing light. No? Hmm. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. So now we have the Statue of Gold. Head on back at it here. Dolphin again. Yeah, let's see. Now we are heading up here to find a little shrine which exists. And that would be it. I'm going to do that every single time. And there we go. The old statue has been used, and we can get past this spot which until moments ago had been blocked by whirlpools. And let's just check the angry sea map again, because I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's kind of funny that all the other whirlpools still exist, so only that one tiny spot of the angry sea has actually been calmed. Okay, so we just head on up here. Eh, not quite there. Uh, still further over. <laughs> oh, hey. Bit of a broken boat. And Ace's favorite little spell here. Any game destroyers readers know what I'm talking about here. Oh, uh, bleh. well, that uh, got its look changed completely. Not a fan of this new look for the barrier spell, to be quite honest. Kinda liked it when it was just a literal shell around you. Okay, and with that, we will leave off here, and I will return in just a few moments because I have a. Uh, you know, further bosses to beat, I just want to mark off a video before this gets too amazingly long. See you in a few. Okay, picking up right where we left off, let us continue with more Chris Solace. And, you know, since I wasn't really paying attention to, um, when the last video ended, or when the last couple of videos ended, I'll probably not actually have them leave off on, uh, you know, where I actually say they will. 
probably will just, you know, edit them together and make cuts every 20-25 minutes or so, depending. And, um, uh, you know, <laughs> this and, uh, that and that, these are basically the only hints you get that something screwy is going on with the people in the pub. Or in the dance hall. The game doesn't really hint you towards uh, how to actually accomplish this thing, which you're expected to accomplish. Well, except for that there, which, you know, isn't much of a uh, hint. Yeah, let's just double check. Yep, that would be the way we have to go next, just as soon as we accomplish all these shenanigans, which, you know, I want the teleport spell, I want the paralysis spell, let's pay attention to what, to what we are doing. So, you know, Kensu just teleports around and changes himself into other things. And you have to identify him and use paralysis on him, because clearly that's the most obvious thing to do. Seriously, I don't know how the game expects you to figure that one out. So apparently the, um, east and west things are, you know, swapped. It's like, if we had a world map that we could go to, like, you'd think, you know, exit out of here and go east on the map. Like, this is, I think, the closest that we get to anything resembling a world map, even though it's kind of a map that is equally as small as basically every other map that we can go on to. So, you know, we can take a number of these forms. Just turn into a soldier, we have a chat with the guards. And they go wandering off. And this is supposedly to the east, but you know... Yeah, even the walkthrough says this is the east exit out of, um, Swan. Even though it's pretty obviously to the west based on, you know, Rest is to the left when you have this kind of uh, basic four-directional world map. But, oh well, uh, that's, um... Let's see, where the heck are we now? Which, um... I think we are... No, definitely not there, which, uh... Ah, here we are. We are on the Goa Field map, which is, um... Amazingly empty. Okay! And we can go to Mount Hydra. That's going to be a destination soon. Okay, so then. Looks like we are heading up to the town of Goa. Yeah, right, let's uh, change back. So we can actually, you know, kill things. Pretty sure these were the uh, same birds that we were fighting down near, you know, Bryn Meyer and Portella in that area. Well, I guess just Portella, actually. Uh, thinking of the uh, correct area. But even so, that's, um, yeah. Still quite a ways to level, but that's still okay, since, um, not gonna need to worry about that until we get past the next boss in the next area. Although these guys are amazing for grinding, so. You know, once we get past the next boss, I may well stop there and do stuff with that. So let's go on into the Fortress of Goa. Although this, um... Probably isn't actually the Fortress of Goa, this is just the town of Goa. The Fortress of Goa will be the spot where we meet all of the uh, bosses again. Yep. Oh, I don't... Well, yeah, may as well take the end. Again, getting very pricey, but we're actually kind of, um, I want to say like 60% done with the game already. So, you know, making really good progress. Hmm, interesting. And yeah, we are basically from this point on going to be in unfriendly territory. Pretty much, we are now in the areas that Dragonia has uh, taken over, and 
Yeah. Okay, so that let's see. Blah blah blah. Where is it we were supposed to go? 